Okay, guys, I'm back with this geode, and I'm going to add a little more to it. I'm liking the um, alcohol ink over the silver leaf, so I'm going to cover those areas of silver leaf, I think. It gives it a nice, uh, deep look. So that's what I'm going to do. And then in the center here, I'm thinking I'm going to add a little of these stones, crushed glass that I had made myself using alcohol ink, just to add a little more interest, especially this area where the eggshells were a little thicker and sticking up. I'm not gonna cover them totally, just kind of randomly here and there. add a little more interest There's a couple that are sticking up out of the resin, so I'm just trying to cover those up, make it a little more neater looking. There, that's it. A few more over here. That's it. All right, so I want to put some of the resin with the alcohol ink in that area and over those silver leaf areas. So I have some in my cup. Again, I am using by Art Company, the lavender alcohol ink. I'm just gonna put some in the cup. And I'm going to pour it over those areas. Also, once this starts to thicken up a little bit, I'll sprinkle some glitter in the center. Alrighty. Okay, so I give that a minute to spread out, and then I also want to put it in here. It's looking a little blue now, it's odd, before it wasn't. Alright, so I'm going to leave that for a second. To spread out and I will be right back. What I'm gonna do is add a little more alcohol ink. I'm gonna use the amethyst this time instead. I could have swore I used that other one before but that is not the same color so I'm gonna add some of this on top of what I've already poured and see if that is the color. Of course, now it's just a brighter blue. Very odd. Add a little bit more. Yeah, that just gets really, really blue. Let me find another purple here. Have a bunch. Purple Twilight. That's gotta work, right? So I'm 
So again, a little resin on the side here. Some of the Purple Twilight, which is also a Ranger ink, by the way. And that is definitely purple. Definitely purple. All right, let's see here now. Let's try this again. Just blend the two together and they will work, I'm sure. What I'm going to do also while this is curing is just keep wiping back the areas around it so it doesn't cover up the silver so much. I need a little bit more for these other areas. You know, the amethyst does kind of work. But I'm going for a certain look here, so. Let me stick with it. I'm just going to go up the center like this and spread it out. Same thing over here, just a thin line down the center and let it work its way out. There we go. Don't want to put too much because I don't want it to cover the other ones. I might need some more though. There. Now that I'm looking at that though, that looks kind of cool. With the like blue around it. Maybe I'll leave it alone. that do what it wants to do also I wanted to add I have this pretty pink glitter and I want to add some very thin lines of it so I'm gonna get a cup I'm gonna put some resin and then I'm going to use the popsicle stick as an aid for spreading out the glitter. And I don't need much. I'm just kind of swooping this back and off the side. 
coming out and covering the area I want to work on. So, kind of just helping it a little bit here. Get out of my way. Do the same thing over here, just kind of aid it off the side of the board. All right, so here we go. Just really, really, really thin line you can get a lot of control you have a lot of control I should say using a stick like this versus pouring it especially if you want thin lines use things to help you The funny thing is, is we have all types of aids around us and we never think to use them. Okay, now I want one to come up this way. I don't think I mentioned this before, but this disc that I'm working on, it's a wood disc. It's from Lowe's. It was, I believe, $7.96 or something like that. And I had primed it front and back and the sides with a house paint that had sealer in it. And it's still had air bubbles on the first pour. It is amazing. Even the, the uh, other one I'm working on now, the Platinum Geode, I sealed that so good and still had air bubbles on the side. You know what it is? The side of these discs are, are a lot rougher than the surface, and I think that it might be beneficial to sand down the sides before you prime it because I've had so many issues And I love working on wood. I prefer that over a canvas any day. It's just such a pain to prep. I'm almost wondering if it's worth it to not have to prep it, to just put a small thin layer of resin on the, the raw wood, let it do its air bubbling crap, sand it all down, and then get to business. <clears throat> that would be easier for me than sanding, than uh, prepping. I 
I really just do not like it at all. My hands don't like it either. Okay, I'm going to put one more here. I have the resin. I'm just going to go up this way. kind of build off of this one and then meet it. Right over here. Just wiping back a little bit here. All right. And then right up through here, I'm just going to do a really thin line, and that will be it. Another thing that I like to do um, when I do a resin painting. I like to add lines of glitter through it like that. I think it adds a lot of interest. All right, so now I have to concentrate on this center here. Um, I have a lot of wiping to do. I'm not gonna do that on camera because you guys don't wanna see that. But I do wanna add some glitter before I let you guys go. So, first one I will add will be a little tiny bit of that pink just sprinkled. Very small amount. And then I'm going to put some diamond dust. Diamond dust, you won't see it really until the geode is dry. And then you really get some blingy popping of color from it. You guys can't see it, but it's sparkling like crazy from my side. And then, 
just looking to see what colors I have here. I think I'll do a little silver. Just a little bit, not overloading it or anything. Right, that's it. So, I just noticed that that uh, area is still pretty blue. I'm tempted to use a little bit of this. Let's see what it looks like. See, that's really blue. But then again, you know, there is a lot of blue. You guys can't see it in that um, mauve blue. So a little of this with that purple may look good. Let's try it out. Just for the fun of it, let's try it out. See what it does. Sometimes you get some fantastic results just playing around like this. I'm kind of just chopping it through with the blue. Do the same over here and then I'm going to add a little more blue. Do it again. And I'm going to do a little of the blue in there with it. I kind of like that. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to stop right there. I will bring you back tomorrow once this is cured and we will finish it up i want to thank you guys for watching and being so patient i will link the products below and if you have any questions leave them in the comment area have a great night and happy pouring hey guys welcome back to another video this is me just finishing up this last little bit of this purple geode so what i did off camera which is very simple to do. I wasn't happy with the sides, the way they looked. So I put some pearl mica flake paste just around the edge and let it dry overnight. I wanted it to be ready for when I did this so you guys could see what it looked like. But this is the stuff here. I will link it 
below if it's not in there already it may be in there and it's a paste it dries clear and then all you see afterwards are the little mica flakes and I just put it on with a palette knife went around and then used my finger to clean if it had gotten on the front of the painting so that's all dry and all I want to do to this geode now is I want to draw in a couple of lines around these foil areas and I want to do a flood coat so I have my marker here it's craft smart oil based marker and it's white and I'm just going to outline these areas And then I have a small one down here. And then, you know what, maybe I'll do one right through, right on the side of this silver here. Okay. So I'm just looking around here and I think or I'm I should say I'm thinking No, I'm going I was going to do a double line around here but it's not going to fit and I'm going to end up coming onto this glitter part. So I'm going to leave well enough alone and I'm going to tape this now for you guys. So what I do for a flood coat is I'll just put some tape around the edge. Doesn't have to be even because it's going to come off in about 15 minutes. Just enough to, to firm it up a little bit and then have it drip over the side. Okay, so I'm going to just give it a nice push here up against the upper area to make sure it kind of holds it on there. I'm sure it will leak because I have that mica paste there and it's not flat, but it should hold a majority of it. Okay, so now all you got to do is just pour your resin on, torch it. I really, really, really feel like I need something right here just to balance this out. I'm going to put one more white line just right here in this silver area. You know how something just bothers you? And it, it's bothering me, so... I'm 
just looking here, guys. Bear with me one second. All right, I'm going right here, too. All right, now I promise I'm done. <laughs> so here, I will not waste any resin in this area because it's not going to be covered. So what I'm going to do is pour around that area and reserve the resin for the areas that need it. If I have some left over, I will go in there also. But there's no sense in me pouring resin there when it's those rocks are so high they're never they're not going to be covered unless of course you want to use that much resin to cover them i do not There we go. I'm just going to spread it out till the whole thing's covered. Torch it. Leave it alone. Well, check for your hair and dust and all that. And then leave it alone for, I'd say, probably 20 minutes. And then we could just pop the tape off, let it go over the side, and have a nice, pretty geode. Now, hopefully, I did not put on a thick layer of that paste. So I'm hoping that it'll be totally submerged. But if not, I'll assess the situation, look at it, and figure out whether or not I need to do another layer. Chances are, though, I won't. Got a bad storm moving in. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take this and carefully, without getting it on my hand, just tilt it a little bit back this way. And then I'm going to put it down. When I work on smaller pieces like this, I like to use these little hand thingies. The, the flame on the big torch is just so long and you really don't need all that firepower for something small like this. So the last thing I wanna mention is, I'm thinking about doing a live video Finally, I think I feel confident enough. I have to figure out how to do it. Um, I know you click the button and it's live, but I got to figure out how to see your comments and all that. And I'm just curious if you would watch. That that has been my fear this whole time that you know I'll do a live and nobody will watch. And also, just leave a comment in the the box below, like. If there's a better time of day for you guys or um, you know just what you think about that idea and I also want to know if I were to do let's say a geode class do you think that would be a good idea like I sit here you guys sit in your house listening and watching to me while you're trying to do what I'm doing. Get what I'm saying? 
do you think that would be a good idea to do? I'm just curious because I was thinking about doing that also. But I'm not sure if it would be hard for you guys to watch me and work on your piece at the same time. But here's the thing. If I were to do it, we would do just small sections together. So, uh, you know, I'm not talking about doing a whole piece in one sitting. I'm saying just, you know, we'll work just on the center. So this way we don't waste a lot of resin because we're talking and it's getting hot and you don't know what to do and things like that. So leave a comment below and let me know what you think about that. I thought that could be fun. I'm just checking for hairs with my little light here. I have a few air bubbles left. If you don't have one of these lights, go in the description box. I have a link for a three pack of them. And I think they're like 12 bucks. They help so much. Right, I think I'm good, guys. So, I'm going to let you go. I will be back with another video very shortly. And I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And happy pouring.